Middlesex's batsmen battle hard in difficult conditions on the opening day of their first LV County Championship match of the new season, as Reese Topley's second five-wicket haul in as many innings kept Essex in the game at Lords. Unsurprisingly, James Foster decided to field in cool, overcast conditions after winning the toss, but having done so, his Essex side did not make the most of those additions early on, as Middlesex's new opening pairing of Scott Newman and new boy Chris Rogers built a very solid platform, defending well against the new ball and punishing anything loose from the Essex attack, who'd seen their side lose their opening fixture of the summer to Kent. Newman and Rogers had had few problems and opened up with a healthy stand of 65 in 20 overs when Rogers, the former Derbyshire captain, edged 17-year-old Toppy to Tom Wesley to depart for 25. The 6'7 tall Toppy made quite an impression with seven wickets on his debut last week and he was among the wickets again in his next over when he found the edge of Newman's bat. Foster took the catch and Newman was gone for 38 at 72 for two. Dawid Milan has been in good form pre-season for Middlesex. He was quickly onto anything short from Morris Chambers. The introduction of spin just before lunch almost did for him though. Wesley the unlucky bowler. Lunch was taken with the home side on 110 for two, but a dramatic turn of events at the start of the afternoon session changed the complexion of the game. Milan was first to go, dragging a ball from David Masters back onto his stumps. Four balls later, captain Neil Dexter was bang in front as he began his summer with a duck. A third wicket fell in the space of eight balls without the addition of a single run when Dan Housko went at the start of the next over for 20, and so now Middlesex had to rebuild once more in the form of John Simpson and Gareth Berg. The latter was particularly forceful off the back foot as the pair contributed a decent partnership of 66 to put the game back on an even keel. Then both men fell in the space of three balls, including the wicket of Simpson, who was legged before to Chris Wright for 32. Berg immediately followed for 34, and so Essex were into the tail with Middlesex on 182 for seven. But the experienced Tim Murta and the second of their three debutants, Ollie Rayner, prevented any further mishaps, and they were able to take their side to a score of 210 for seven by the tea break. Murta departed soon after the restart as Ravi Bapara got a ball to straighten to have the batsman leg before for 15. But Stephen Finn, who's looking to improve on his batting, showed he'd done just that with a delightful straight drive to keep the Essex bowlers waiting for the end of the innings. Finn was soon past his championship best, though he did score 35 against the Aussies in the winter. He made 32 this time and had helped his side to recover to 277 when he was bowled by Topley for wicket number four. And the left armer's wonderful start to the season was confirmed when he also hit the stumps of new boy Corey Collymore three balls later to finish with figures of five for 64. Middlesex were 277 all out, better than it might have been at one stage, and Billy Godelman and Alistair Cook survived 11 balls before bad light ended the day early. Middlesex will hope that their own young star, Finn, can repeat topless heroics on day two.